I will give a few more examples on what kind of quantitative skills you will see in this course. This is a study on divorce risk. So in the y-axis is about the divorce risk, and then in the x-axis is the age at first marriage. The solid line that you can see is the mean value. Did you know when is the perfect age for marriage? I think most of you would say it's the minimum point here because the risk is low, right? Some people may argue that the perfect age for marriage is a teen age. Did you know why? Because they can have their second marriage. So while it is useful to describe something with numbers and mathematics and equations, in many cases we will also need to come back to ourselves and ask, what are we trying to achieve? This is especially the case when we are trying to measure something that's less tangible. For example, success. So how do we measure success? Warren Buffett said, I measure success by how many people love me. And the best way to be loved is to be lovable. I don't measure a man's success by how high he climbs, but how high he bounces when he hits the bottom. So we measure success, and then we talk about the perfect age for marriage. What about teenage violence behavior? Can it be measured? An article in Forbes in 2011 asked a question, is soldier a smoking gun for teen violence or just statistical illiteracy? So basically, there was a significant and strong association between soft drinks and violence. There may be a direct cause and effect relationship, perhaps due to the sugar or caffeine content of soft drinks. Or there may be other factors unaccounted for in our analysis that cause both high soft drink consumption and aggression. So sometimes people mix up causation and correlation. What about longevity? Celebration of birthdays have been proved to be a healthy activity directly related to longevity. These two ladies celebrated their 107 and 100 year old birthday. The moral is, the longer your life, the more celebrations you have. What about quality of life? In this course, you will learn how to quantify those seemingly unmeasurable items. So once again, this course is not like any regular mathematics or statistics course. We will learn only the very essential parts of the topics. More emphasis is on applying the knowledge to solve scientific problems. We expect you to be able to model some natural phenomena and real-life examples systematically, logically, with common sense in a quantitative manner. Hope you will find the materials in this course useful in the future. Good luck!